Good evening everyone, this is Vicki Simons with TruckDriversMoneySavingTips.com. I am pleased to be able to come to you tonight with a feeling fabulous Friday broadcast about uh, oral care and dental health and I said how are you going to be able to, what's a consistent activity that you can do to help uh, boost your wellness, okay, and that is uh, to be able to take care of your mouth and your teeth. Okay, one of the things that uh, I have to disclaim is that some of the material that I have uh, I'm going to be citing tonight comes from naturalnews.com. So thanks to Mike Adams and all the guys and ladies over there who uh, promote such great stuff uh, through naturalnews.com. Okay, so my husband Mike and I were professional drivers on the road. Uh, we started out as a Coast to Coast, that is a transcontinental team. Uh, with Swift Transportation back in 1993 and we were uh, with them for about 20 months and then went to US Express and we're with them for a little over a year and I have also ridden with my husband as a regional driver uh, a couple of times and so we have lived in our truck full time for quite some time and um, every a uh, specific trucking company that we were with, with the exception of one that Mike was with, we were allowed to be able to take, um, that is, uh, every truck that had a sleeper berth in it, we were allowed to take a porta potty except for the one. And I don't know if Schneider National has changed their rules or not, but uh, being able to brush our teeth over our portable toilet in our truck was very easy to do. Now I realize that some drivers is kind of like, well, I don't want to have a porta potty in my truck. I want to, you know, be able to do that or whatever. And some people I've seen a forum where someone says, well, how do you brush your teeth on the road? Okay, well, um, be aware that there may be some laws against public spitting and uh, releasing some sort of um, toothpaste filled uh, liquid out of your mouth, except in like a sink or a toilet, something like that. If you spit it out on the ground. Uh, someone may come after you. I've never heard of that before, but just be aware that uh, there's a possibility that some people could uh, find that your saliva has some sort of a biohazard uh, to it. Okay, I've talked about other things on our website that can be considered as a biohazard, and you just don't want to run the risk of um, having a problem there. So. Uh, if you do not have a portable toilet and you don't want to go into the truck stop or your terminal or whatever to brush your teeth, one of the potential things that you can do is if you have two bottles, two plastic bottles, one with, say, water in it and the other one that's empty, and take a little bit of water and, you know, run uh, your toothbrush, all right, and I'm going to show you my little toothbrush here and it needs to be replaced. Okay, you can see how the, um, the bristles are getting frayed here and you need to replace a toothbrush every so often. But anyway, take that and, you know, run it in, you know, make sure that you're running the strokes in the correct way so that you're pulling the food away from your gums, okay, and you're not trying to push it back up in there. Okay, doing this kind of thing instead of a, um, this kind of a motion uh, may or may not work so well. But anyway, be that as it may. Uh, being able to, to run the, the toothbrush with the toothpaste on it in your mouth and then spitting into the other bottle that you're going to be throwing away. Okay, and of course you want to make sure that you're uh, taking care of all of your uh, refuse in a uh, responsible manner as well. Okay, don't just throw it out. Make sure that you're putting it into a trash receptacle, please. Okay, that being said, allow me to show you that uh, when I was growing up, uh, I was a Crest kid. Okay, this was the only thing that my parents knew about, and we started out with this uh, regular flavor of um, of Crest, but there is a, and I'm going to show it to you the, the right way up, okay, there is a, uh, a warning on the back side of uh, every tube of Crest about if you swallow more than is used for brushing to call a poison control center. Okay, and I don't like that. Okay, I don't like the fact that I could be putting something into my mouth that could poison me. So, one of the things that I have learned to do is to make my own toothpaste and this is simply a quart excuse me this is a pint jar of homemade toothpaste and I've used one pound of baking soda uh, approximately eight tablespoons of coconut oil you can use virgin coconut oil if you like a little bit of stevia for sweetening and say a um, some of essential oil for uh, sweetener if you want to have something that will uh, support healthy gums there's uh, different kinds of essential oils that you can use for that I'll always make sure that if you're going to be using any essential oils that it's 100 percent pure and therapeutic grade okay so uh, I make my own okay and if you don't want to take that whole thing you can take a little you know a smaller amount of homemade toothpaste with you as well all right 
don't forget the toothpicks okay in some restaurants you can see these on the way out uh, I just happen to have mine done in this is an old spice container and it's very easy to to just get say one at a time okay by uh, jiggling that out of there all right and you also want to take care of your flossing needs okay and I'm going to be addressing the flossing thing in a little bit all right this is something of course this is an equate brand this is basically Walmart's uh, generic or their store brand okay and this is the type of size right here even though it's got Colgate on it we don't use Colgate anymore uh, but anyway this is the size of a dental floss that you can get from say your dentist okay and um, this is a regular um, I don't know if you can see it or not just a regular type of a dental floss and this one okay this is a this is sort of a, um, a silky type of it but it's a, a thinner okay and my mom always had to use the thinner type because she had teeth that were very close together okay so in other words she didn't let that uh, bother her now my dad like to use these little jobs okay and the reason why was because it was easier for him to get he couldn't get his his uh, fingers back up in his mouth very easily and one of the um, resources that I saw indicated that you need to have about an 18 inch length of dental floss in order to be able to correctly uh, floss well this is a little tiny one of course these are expensive for a very 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 long time many years I uh, resisted using something like this because I just didn't think that they would work until I got one. And the thing about it is, is it's very easy when you when you put these between your teeth. Make sure that you're jiggling it back and forth to loosen any food particles that are there. Now, speaking of food particles, one of the things that you will want to take care of with your oral health is making sure that you're not drinking or eating a lot of sugary or high acidic foods that could deteriorate your teeth. Okay, and let me uh, address the, the situation. I told you I was going to be uh, referencing some stuff from naturalnews.com, and uh, this is an encouragement to you to be able to take care of your teeth. Okay, um, support healthy gums in the, the various ways that you can. But let me read to you. Uh, this is in an article that says, New study uh, reiterates importance of good dental hygiene. Uh, a few paragraphs down, what researchers discovered is that the disease causing pancreatic cancer may actually originate in bacteria in the mouth. This is the first time the medical community has been able to draw a direct connection between gingivitis bacteria and such a serious disease. Okay, and that was May 9, 2016, not too long ago. All right, another article, uh, Surprising Health Benefits of Flossing says... Surprisingly, flossing regularly is also closely linked with uh, preventing heart attacks, strokes, and other cardiovascular disease conditions. According to the American Academy of Periodontology, people who have periodontal disease are almost twice as likely to have coronary artery disease. Okay, another study found that looking at a person's dental problems like cavities, gingivitis, and missing teeth were just as capable of predicting whether that person would have a heart, heart disease as their cholesterol levels. The reason for this connection is that the plaque buildup in the mouth may cause problems in the bloodstream, which may cause inflammation in the arteries, which increases the risk of cardiovascular disease. All right, I want to help you guys prevent all that stuff if possible. All right, in an article called Healthy Mouth, Healthy Body, Five Important Ways to Prevent Tooth Decay and Gum Disease. All right, I'm just going to read a couple of uh, real short paragraphs here. And I've already referred to one, Limit Sugars and High Acidic Foods. Uh, one paragraph says, Research is proving that the health of your gums and teeth are overall predictors for several other diseases and health issues. It's not as simple as visiting the dentist every six months to a year anymore. Okay, and it said there are many other ways you could uh, need to look after your own dental health in between these wellness visits that will determine not only your dental and gum health over the years, but also prolong the life and health of your teeth so that you can keep them in top condition into advanced aging. All right, one of the uh, things here that it, it recommends in this particular article is something called oil pulling. And uh, I don't know any professional drivers who actually engage in this activity, but it's basically uh, a matter of taking, a, for example, an, a virgin coconut oil, something that actually tastes like coconut, hasn't been refined to remove the coconut taste, and first thing in the morning and putting uh, some in your mouth and they'll 
just swishing it around uh, in your mouth. Don't swallow it, okay? But pull all that stuff out of your uh, mouth and your teeth and just run that oil back and forth between your teeth for about 15 or 20 minutes. Okay, and supposedly this has great health benefits, okay? I have done it in the past. Um, my own personal uh, situation with oil pulling was the fact that uh, if I put too much coconut oil in there in my mouth, uh, it um, it's hard to keep from swallowing it. So I've learned to put a smaller amount in there, and I really need to get back to that. But I have experienced good uh, health benefits as a result of doing oil, oil, oil pulling. So anyway, uh, be aware that um, your, uh, your dental health, your oral care, or the lack thereof can have serious uh, you know, health benefits. So in order to help keep feeling fabulous, I'm going to recommend, uh, strongly encourage you to take care of your teeth. I would recommend brushing after every meal if you possibly can, okay? And of course, eating or drinking while you're driving down the road is a whole separate uh, video in and of itself. But the fact of the matter is, if you can possibly do that and, and don't uh, drink stuff that's got a lot of sugar in it that's going to sit on your teeth for a long period of time. All right, take care of your teeth, and your teeth will take care of you. Okay, so uh, I don't see any interaction uh, tonight, but feel free to comment below or get in touch with us through money sa uh, truckdrivers money saving tips com. And until next time, my husband Mike and I wish you great wellness, purpose, and abundance. We wish you safe travels and lots of money saving opportunities on the road. All right, have a great weekend, and we'll see you tomorrow night for Savvy Saturday. Have a great night and a good weekend, drivers. Thanks.